Welcome to Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation, and this is how you can utilize the book trader to make trades instantaneously while in the actual trading screen. So to get the book trader, you have a couple options. You can go to new window here in the top left, and you can go down to book trader. You can search for book trader by going B-O-O-K and clicking book trader. But remember, whatever contract you want to look at or whatever stock you want to look at, Whatever's in your order entry, whatever you're selected on right now, let's go to Apple, is going to pop up in your book trader when you do this. Let's go Apple book trader and ba-boom, we are into it right here, right now. If you want to get into book trader and actually change your financial instrument here in the top left, you can go ahead and do that. Let's just click Nike. They've got earnings coming up in a few weeks. Click stock and boom, we're into Nike now. Let's go back to Apple though. For the demonstration, I just want to show you that real quick at the start. Book trader here, we've got the price in the top. We've got the bid on one side, the ask on the other. This is just straight up shares of Apple with the current market price fluctuating there in the middle, okay? By the pennies, by the cents. You've got a histogram here on the right side showing you the action or the amount of trades open at each price point. And you can also edit these different features by going into the configure button here on the top left. And you can go through and actually change things in here. You could show Bold prices every fifth line. Let's apply that and take that off. See how there's no bold anymore. Go back in, turn that back on. Boom, apply. We've got bolded prices every five cents now. Go back in. There's a couple other things I want to show you. You can change the amount of actual data that you guys can show from 100 to let's go 500 rows of data points. And let's go apply. And then boom, let's scroll up and down to see where we can get to. Okay, we're going all the way up to 150, 157.5 and change, but then what's gonna happen in a second here, but boom, we're centered back to where the price is normally at. In Book Trader, one of the features they have is that you're going to get this log in the top left showing you the auto recentering feature where it takes you back to where the price is of that stock every five seconds. You can scroll around and it'll reset the actual ticker, but if you just leave it and let it sit there and let it watch, it's going to go back and take you back to where the action's happening in the actual stock you're looking at. If you wanna go ahead and then buy or sell shares, you either click red here on the red sell side or go buy on the buy side. And if you want to then go into your order, let's go in and say we're going to buy 100 shares of Apple. We can do that at the green or at the blue price where the price is at. Click on there, click on buy. It'll pop up with an order ticket window and you can actually size it up by double, reduce it by half. You can go boom, boom, boom and 800 shares. If we want to do that, we can transmit and we'll just override and transmit this. And now it's in, it's an order. It's not a trade. The status is green, which means it's an order. We have the limit price right here at 155.07. And we can see that we're right around there. We're a little bit higher than that right now. So if we go ahead and well, boom, we got filled. We got filled. We bought 800 shares. The market wing came back and we hit it. The log updates right there. The trade updates. You can see it broken down by 401 one in different increments right there. And you can go look, look in the portfolio as well. And you can see the actual position that you're in up 25 bucks right there. Let's say we want to go ahead and try to take a profit before we get uh, into the negatives here. You can go ahead and you know what you bought it for, or we're going negative now, but you know you bought it for, you can turn around and you can sell it. You can sell it here. Click on one of these little areas. If I want to go 155.15, click sell, click two, three, boom, transmit our orders in, override and transmit, and our orders in there at 800. You see it's showing up here. You see the status is still an order, it's active in there. And if it hits 155.15, we are going to sell. We can change the limit price if we want to and go down to the mid price. If we do that and update, it's gonna get filled right away. The order is filled. And we see again, the log shows up, the trade shows up and the portfolio shows we made 500, we made $55 in about, I don't know, a minute, minute of action. But if you wanna go ahead and start selling stocks now, you do the same thing, click here first to sell. If you're gonna sell short, you can do that. We're gonna go in, we're gonna do 100 shares, transmit. And did that, so now we're back in. We have a negative position on Apple right now. And if we wanna go ahead and clever that, we could just go back in here and buy. And we'll transmit the buy order. And we bought 100 shares of Apple at 155, which actually made us another $4 on our trade. Our trades, again, they're shown in there. We can resize this to show a little bit better. And we see what we've done here today, the portfolio, we just made $60 in a paper account in about two minutes of work. If you wanna get out of this screen here, we can go up to the top left and we can click the X to cancel and get out of the book trader. If you wanna go into an options chain and try to use options with the book trader, you can do that. However, there are some 
limitations. If we go to a Apple call, you have to click the actual call or put the actual strike price you want to get into your book trader and then right click on here. If you want to go in the 145 Apple call for April 21st, right click, open up book trader, and you will now be in the book trader for the options chain for that specific instrument. It's not the total options chain. It's not everything. It's just that particular instrument. You can get in here and you can use book trader. As you can see, it's not really updating. There's not much movement going on. For my money, I wouldn't spend the time trying to use Book Trader for options trading. I would rather get into either hotkeys from your main screen, or I would utilize Book Trader for buying and selling individual shares. To me, there's not enough actual movement in here going on. I would much rather go back and just look at the regular old options chain where you have it looking right here. You can see the data updating here fast enough for the options chain. I would go in there and use it and just do your bid and ask spread in here. If you wanna buy a call on Apple and you wanna go ahead and do that, use your limit order, use your quantity, you can buy or sell, whatever you wanna do, make it in your force for a day and then submit it that way. You can monitor enough data and it's quick enough, in my opinion, for using it in the options chain itself. You don't have to use Book Trader, but use Book Trader for actual individual stocks. Use the options chain where trading stock options. And if you want to understand more about how options work, buying, selling, puts, calls, the whole shebang, make sure you check out the next video coming up. Like and subscribe to the video right now if you got some value today. And I will see you guys on the next one, showing you the actual strategy that I use for my options trading, what I use for my phone 30 minutes a day to create a secondary income stream. Hope I catch you there. Check it out. 